couple of features about the outside. That is cypress wood that has been stained. Cypress, as you may know, is incredibly mold resistant, weather resistant. In fact, it doesn't even have to be stained and it will maintain an incredibly long duration of, of the lifespan of this home. Of course, that is metal siding uh, in between the cypress gives it a nice cut, a little clean, almost modern look. Behind here, this is where the unit for the 17 gallon hot water heater is stored. There's the compressor for the split unit and that's full uh, storage space, probably about three by five or three by, excuse me, three by two storage space there. This is the front of the tiny home. You see all the windows allowing in the natural light. Yes, that door does have the ability to have shade across it. But again, you can appreciate how it's clean. Got a nice, you know, industrial, but at the same time, modern look. Then when you make your way around to the front, this is a tongue latch uh, setup, not a, not a gooseneck setup. And because of this setup, this is what gives you the opportunity to use all that extra space in the actual tiny home and not just sitting there being wasted because you have a gooseneck set up. Storage space is up front here. Can be used for just about anything you need. In this case, it's holding the electrical cords. First, it was built by Alabama Tiny Homes who have been featured on Tiny House Nation. And secondly, this tiny home actually has some custom features that make it feel more open and more spacious. And I'll point those out during this tour. But when you come in from the front door here, you are greeted with a very large and open living room space. Can very easily accommodate several large pieces of furniture as well as some you know, medium sized swivel chairs. Or you could very easily use bar stools to greet two, even three uh, adult people here comfortably. But this tiny home has a feature that makes it feel bigger than it is, and it's the height of these walls and this ceiling. So there's the split unit along with the remote control fan that can be turned at various speeds and opposite directions based on the year and need. But within this tiny home, in this particular living room space, you have a very large TV for entertainment purposes. And then of course below there's some shelving for some of the pictures or memorables that you wanna share uh, to others. But within this tiny home, in this particular living room space, you have a very large TV for entertainment purposes. And then of course below there's some shelving for some of the pictures or memorables that you wanna share uh, to others. Now, when you go across this particular space in the living room, you're going across into the bathroom area. Behind this wall here is the sliding door that can come across for privacy. But as soon as you're in this bathroom area, you'll notice that's not a normal size shower. Two people very easily can be accommodated in that shower, even three if you wanted to pack. I'm not saying that's what needs to be done, but I'm just giving you an idea of the size of that shower. And if you notice within that shower, there's actually a spa setup. You have a very nice setup that can accommodate that. Those are the subway tiles. And of course, there's an accent of glass back there behind that shower head. Now, just backing up a little bit, back into this vanity area, there's a bowl vanity. The mirror would be set up on these two screws behind here. And below there is storage space with two doors that very easily open and of course, two doors. Now. Coming back in, full flushable toilet, and then of course the stackable washer and dryer. And of course there is a window that allows for natural light to come in. And of course a curtain can be put across there to give you the privacy and space. I'm six foot one, there's easily eight inches above my head. So this is a very nice spacious bathroom. And what is unique about this particular setup is this particular closet space here. One of the complaints that tiny home people have is there's not enough storage. I can assure you this is quite a bit of storage. Two shelves, plenty of room for hanging items, plenty of room for storing items, even putting in, say, a shoe sorter of sorts or something on the bottom to utilize that space more efficiently. But this is one of the secrets of this tiny home that a lot of people wish they had in theirs. So plenty of storage in this tiny home space. 
Now, coming out of the living room or the bathroom space back into the living room, if I turn back around, I can very easily see access to the kind of first primary loft that I want to share with you. We call this the guest loft. This loft stands very tall. In fact, anybody who's six foot five, six foot six can sit on that bed and sit up and not bump their head. So this is not a cramped loft by any stretch. Plenty of room to sit up if you have those chairs like a bean bag or something you want to relax in. You could put it in this corner and enjoy it with great ease. There's hookup for TV and entertainment purposes right there in the back. That's a queen size mattress. So you can appreciate the size of this space. Again, window access on both sides to let in that natural light as well as overhead light. But plenty of room to put storage either on this wall, this wall, or this wall, depending on where you move that mattress and how you want to fit this space. So this upper loft, we call that the guest loft. Very spacious, plenty of room for, for um, storage, as well as adding other things like another TV, should you want it. Now, when I turn, immediately I'm greeted by the kitchen. Again, one of the unique features about this kitchen is it was designed to not feel cramped. A lot of tiny homes, the, the roof is right at six feet. That's not six feet. That's probably about six, five right there. So you have plenty of space, but when you enter into this kitchen, you'll notice it opens up quite nicely. You have this butcher block surface all the way across the counter, along with a very large sink that's easy for um, washing and then of course drying your dishes. And of course this space covers all the way to the stove, to the stove top, to the oven, as well as the microwave. But if you've noticed, there's plenty of room for storage. So any of your perishable or non-perishable items can be stored with great ease. In fact, behind this door is one of those long, lazy Susan type two-tiered uh, shelving spaces that can house a lot of, a lot of uh, non-perishable foods there. Now, this is not a full-size refrigerator. That's okay. It's the next size closest to a full-size refrigerator. So for two or three, even four people, there's plenty of freezer space and plenty of refrigerator space to store your perishables. Now off to the side of this kitchen, this is what I call sort of the entrance to the master suite. All of these stairs, except for the last one, have drawers where you have easy access for extra storage for items that you may not use on a day-to-day -day basis, but these drawers all give you extra storage space. Now, when you go up these steps, the feature I want you to recognize is, is anyone who's about six, seven, six, eight, or under can stand up on half of this particular loft. So immediately you're not cramped in. You have enough space to change your clothes, to, you know, ch to, un uh, to undress in your clothes, whatever the case may be, you have plenty of space to feel like you're not cramped. But if you notice when I turn back and look at the rest of the tiny home, this looks good. This feels like a nice size home. It, it feels like you're enjoying wide open space. And if you can imagine woods on one side and open pasture on another or woods on both sides or a view off a hill or off a sort of a, a, a cliff or a mountain face, this tiny home gives you the opportunity to absorb all of that in. This is a full size queen bed here plenty of room down here for any incidental storage purposes and of course it comes equipped already with a, a smart tv so i hope this video gives you some idea of some of the features and benefits of this tiny home i hope you can envision yourself owning this one day because i don't think you're going to find one as quite as open as spacious and as homey as this particular tiny home